Look at all these fun books. Click on the book that you want to read. The Grandfather Clock. This part of the book is called the Table of Contents. It lists all the stories that are in this book. Late for School by Mark Beckwith. Here I am at the gate. My watch says it's date. Oh good, oh good, I am not late. But there is no one there. The schoolyard is bare. No teacher, no friends, no one anywhere. Hmm. How can this be? It's eight o'clock, I can see. But no teacher, no friends, just me. Did my teacher not stay? Did my friends move away? Oh, I know why. It's Saturday. The Loose Tooth by Glynis Campbell Wiggle, 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 it makes me want to giggle. Wiggle, 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 my tooth is very loose. Ah! Uh. Will it come out on Sunday if I chew a stick of gum? Will it come out on Monday if I tap it with my thumb? Will it come out on Tuesday if I eat some toast and jam? Will it come out on Wednesday if I give the door a slam? Will it come out on Thursday while I'm playing hide and seek? Will it come out on Friday? Will it fall at all this week? If it doesn't happen Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or on Wednesday, or on Thursday, or on Friday, then it's Saturday for sure. I'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'll give a little tickle. I'll jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I'll eat a big dill pickle. I'll pull and tug and wriggle. I'll munch on pumpernickel. Nom, 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 nom. Cause Saturday I'll put my tooth beneath my pillowcase. And Sunday morning I will find some money in its place. And then I can go shopping if Mommy lets me take her. I know just what I'd like to buy. A peppermint jawbreaker. January Seed by Glynis Campbell Sleeping underneath the January snow, a little black seed, waits to grow. February brings more ice and frost, freezing the ground where the seed was tossed. The winds of March begin to blow, but the little seed is safe below. April showers dampen the earth. Now the seed prepares for birth. The sunlight of May shines all around. The baby seedling peeks up through the ground. June brings warmth to everyone. The seedling turns up toward the sun. The long afternoons of hot July bring forth a flower reaching for the sky. August brings honeybees buzzing by to pollinate the blossoms as they fly. Cool September slows things down. Now the green plants turning brown. Foggy October blocks the sun. The flower wilts. Its life is done. Crisp November chills the air. The plant is gone. The ground is bare. Cold December shows a good deed. The plant has left behind a seed. Time for Tom by Glynis Campbell. Ring goes the bell. It's seven o'clock. I'm too sleepy. I'm too sleepy. Tom, get up. You'll be late for school. <laughs> Yay! Ring goes the bell. It's eight o'clock. Time for class. Time for class. Tom, raise your hand if you want to speak. Ooh. 
Ring goes the bell. Now it's 10.30. Yippee, playtime. Yippee, playtime. Tom, no standing on Jason's head. Ow, ow, ouch! Ring goes the bell. It's 12 o'clock. Boy, I'm hungry. Boy, I'm hungry. Tom, get your hands out of Christopher's lunch. Hey! Ring goes the bell. Now it's 1.30. Silent reading, silent reading. Tom, do you know what silent means? Blah, blah, blah. Ring goes the bell. It's two o'clock. School's out. I'm free. School's out. I'm free. Tom, don't forget your homework now. Ah! Ring goes the bell. It's five o'clock. Boy, I'm starving. Boy, I'm starving. Tom, remember to chew your food. Shh, goes Daddy. It's 8.30. I'm not sleepy. I'm not sleepy. Tom, get back into your own bed. Psst, go I. It's 12 o'clock. Midnight snack. Midnight snack. Tom, you climb back into bed. That is what my mommy said. A Child versus a Garden by Glynis Campbell Winter, spring, summer, fall Seasons circle round us all Summer, fall, winter, spring In my garden, growing things First comes winter's ice and snow It's too soon for seeds to grow Flowers freeze and cold winds blow. Winter's not the time to sow. Brrr. Next comes spring and brighter days. April showers, sunny mays, bringing warmth that all plants need. Spring is when I plant the seed. Winter, spring, summer, fall, seasons circle round us all. Summer, fall, winter, spring, in my garden growing things. <coughs> then comes summer, hot and dry, not a cloud up in the sky. Now my plant has poked its head up into the flower bed. Fall has come with cooler days, falling leaves and foggy haze. Now at last my plant is finished. Ah, I must have planted spinach. Oh! The Grandfather Clock by Mark Beckwith. Most any clock will keep good time, and there are even some clocks that chime. But do you see the clock by the wall? It is a grandfather clock. The best of them all. Grandfather Clock does more than tick-tock. He's the only clock that I know that can talk. Do not be scared. Come close. Come near. Just ask the clock for the time and you'll hear. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on twelve. Short hand on one. It is one o'clock. There's work to be done. Tick, tock, tick, tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on twelve, short hand on two. It's two o'clock. It's nap time for you. Tick, tock, tick, tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on six. Short hand past three. It is 3.30. Now bring me my tea. Tick, tock, tick, tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on six. Short hand past four. It is 4.30. Now go do your chore.
Grandfather Clock. He can tell time. Grandfather Clock does not need to chime. Grandfather Clock, boy, can he talk! Yes, Grandfather is one bossy clock.